Welcome to another card layout video with me, John Bloodworth, Gentleman Crafter, and it's time to write the next chapter, or at least that's what this card indicates. The papers that I will be using are from the Grand Plans pad by First Edition. This is a 6x6 six six paper pad and has many different patterns. This is the layout that I will be using and the sentiment comes from Visible Image. And these are the papers that I selected along with some solid color cardstock sheets. And that's not easy to say. Starting to crop down the papers here, uh, either for direct application to the card or for die cutting later on. Obviously, if you would like the layout that accompanies this video, please do head over to my blog, gentlemancrafter.com where you will find this and the other 55 card layouts that I have done so far. It's growing into quite a library. I hope you're making use of them and I'd like to find a way for you to share them with me as well. If you're on social media, please feel free to tag me. Uh, all of my hashtag, not hashtags, all of my whatsits, you know, the at symbol things are over on my blog. So do pop over and make sure to tag me if you make something using one of these layouts. I might look to start a Facebook group if anybody is interested and we can start sharing um, layouts that we make from these. Uh, while I've been waffling, I've obviously been working. So there's some die cutting going on, there's some strips happening. Now for this particular technique I am going to zoom in a little, a little bit closer so you can see what I'm doing. I'm basically using my gridded ruler to measure and mark the uh, the places where I'll cut to create the holes in what I'm calling the watch face and where the strap in inverted commas quote unquote will go through. I'm working on the back of the card you can't really tell because it's solid colored car stock uh, but there is a difference when you die cut something because you've got the raised edge. I'm not being particularly precise because A, you won't see the pencil marks and B, I just want to be able to thread that paper through this. Um, Realistically, I could have just cut one slit with the craft knife and threaded it through, but I thought that it would be nice to make it look as if it's like a, a watch strap attaching to a watch face. And the reason I'm doing that is because the paper, the pattern paper, has got watches all over it. And we're talking about time. It's not just a pretty face I've got, you know. In fact, it's not a pretty face at all but there is a brain behind it somewhere, I'm sure, in a cupboard at the back. For the um, little strips, to get the angle, basically I'm measuring in half an inch from one corner and then connecting it with the opposite corner and tr trimming across that line. For the stamp, I'm mounting it on a stamping platform or block or whatever you want to call it really, inking it up and stamping it onto the white cardstock strip, keeping in mind that I will be chopping off that angular bit at the end as well. Maybe it would have made sense to chop that off before, but you know, sometimes we go into autopilot mode. As ever with all of these videos so far, I've been using the Pin Flare book binding glue. That's a tacky PVA glue to do all of the construction and layering. I didn't measure that strip top to bottom, by the way, because I wasn't sure if threading it through the cardstock would actually reduce the height slightly. So I thought, eh, I'll just trim it down afterwards. And that is exactly what I did. Boink, boink.
some foam pads to raise up the sentiment panel. And that is going to go on. Again, no measuring, just eyeballing it. And then I think to finish this off, some obligatory gems. If you think they're not going to work for your design, leave them off. Add something else. Do whatever you fancy. Can you think of other applications for this layout? Maybe a space age communication device. Ooh. If you do think of anything, let me know in the comments below the video or on my blog. Always love getting your thoughts and comments. Now that's that one pretty much done. And you can see most of the work really was the patterned paper. I hope you've enjoyed this one. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time. That's it for this time. If you've enjoyed this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments section below. And for more from me in the future, please remember to subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching.